Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to attach a balloon to a wall. This will be a super duper easy peasy tutorial, so let's get right into the video. You can use this method to attach a balloon to a piece of drywall like this, um, to like a tile if you want to, if you have tiled walls in a bathroom, in a kitchen, like a backsplash, anything like that. It's actually really, really easy to do uh, to a cabinet. This is like cabinet material right here. Um, really, really easy to do. Um, let's get right into the video. Actually, this mark over here, just realized I actually had my drains snaked or cleaned out as they say. And uh, the person was wearing gloves and they got themselves up uh, like with their hand on the wall. And this was the other day, I just noticed it now. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and clean that before my wife sees but luckily she didn't see it so I'll go and clean that um, just so she doesn't notice it anyways back to business we have a balloon here all that you need is some pieces of like little clear tape like this now the easiest way is to just take a piece of tape I'm gonna try and do this with one hand I don't know if I'm gonna be able to but you want to take a piece of tape okay let's try and get an up close view there we go I can do it like this and you want to essentially get that piece of tape get one that's long enough you want to basically put it so that it's centered the balloon spout is centered on that piece of tape I'm really trying to do this with one hand. It's really difficult. There we go. So the balloon spout is centered on that piece of tape and then you can tape it to the wall. And at that point, it's probably going to stay as you can see, but like I would use a longer piece of tape, obviously, if I was doing this on a more, more permanent basis. But what you can do to make sure, like I would use a longer piece of tape, but what you can do to make sure that it doesn't move is you can use two additional pieces of tape. Okay, so I can get an additional piece of tape here. And I can tape them uh, perpendicular to the other piece of tape. So I can tape this one the other way like that, okay? That's holding the original piece of tape down. And I can get another piece of tape here, just like this. And I can actually put it over here like that. And this is perpendicular to the other piece of tape. Just like I said, I'm trying to do this with one hand. I do apologize. Just like that. So now we have one piece of tape holding it like that and then an additional piece of tape this way and this way. And it's pretty much not gonna go anywhere. What I'll do is I'll do the same thing. I have more tape and I have another balloon right over here. Um, I'll do the same thing over here on this one. Now this one has a longer spout because it's less inflated. So what I will do is I will get um, a nice long piece of tape. This is probably about the length that I would use. And this is like a cabinet material. It's like a, this is the basement kitchen that we have and it's like a pantry. So it's like a cabinet type of material. So I'm gonna try and get the spout centered, like I said. Tape one end down and the other end down. That's more realistic as to what it would be in terms of the length, right? And obviously make sure that it stays. Now, well, is this permanent? Is this gonna last for months? No, but will you get away with doing this for a day to a couple days? It'll probably last for a couple days and you can always use longer pieces of tape to be even more sure. So I'm gonna get this, oops. Uh, did I mess up this piece of tape? No, still good. This piece of tape is going to go perpendicular to the other piece of tape. Let's try that again, just like that. So this piece of tape is going left and right. This is going up and down, otherwise known as horizontal and vertical. And the last piece of tape like this is just gonna go like that as well. And that's it, that's literally, that's probably the perfect uh, way right there, the perfect length. And that, that balloon will probably, should be okay for at least a few days. That's basically it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.